In a world where desire and rule, they've committed the crime against the non-aggression violation tree. And now they sent a monster after us! Can we defeat it? What is that thing? Find out next time on Let's Play Tales of Symphonia. What do you mean we just started? Okay, fine. We'll do it today. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> That'd be a short episode. 30 seconds. Boy, I'll help too. Yeah, I tried pimp handing me. I'll help too, Lloyd. <laughs> it's time to kick ass and chew bubble gum. All out. <laughs> At the same time. <laughs> oh. Uh, I'm up close and personal, so I can do this. <laughs> okay. So it's 5,000 health. Not too much. Oh, good timing. That's pen -pen. If you ever get knocked in the air, hit the square button, and you'll be able to, uh... Actually... Ow. Spam! Oh, Demon Fang! Demon Fang! Fireball! Demon Fang! Fireball! Demon Fang! Fireball! Demon Fang! Fireball! It takes me forever to. Oh, Shelter's out of No, about half an hour. Oh! So you just got wrecked. I did get wrecked. Stone Blast. This guy don't want to block, but I get a patient attack when I was about to attack him. Does this thing have a weakness? Um, I don't think it does. And if there was probably some like spell we don't have. Uh oh. You want to come beat this thing with a punching bag with me? Yep. Smack it with your ball. Try. Yeah, take it. Yeah, we were just toying with you. <laughs> Bad puns at their finest. I'm great at these terrible puns. I know. Me too. Lord forces us. That boy has an X-Spear! Yeah, yes we do. It must be the one from the Angelus project that we've been searching what, for. What, is that like a distinguished, like, Give color it. or something? Like all the x rays don't have that color? No! Or that shine? This is a memento of my mom's, who you designs murdered! Jerks. What are you talking about? Your mother was a hamster. Was and your father, father was a bird. Your father smelt of uh, elderberries. Uh, yeah, that's what it was. Well, what was that voice? It sounded like Mom. Can't be. Can't be. No way. They, they turned her into a monster. And they just beat the living tarnation out of it. Venus. Oh well. You were like a grandson to me. Aww. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye, well, Mom. That's prep. Oh, jeez. That's depressing. You just got banged in the booty. Hey. That's bigger expert. Lord you couldn't do that before, right? Nah. Lord, I like in the overworld like a one-on-one -on -one match as long as you possess that Cestus. Whereas here it's just a fight against the monster. Oh. All the little changes they over did, I really marble, enjoyed them. No! You marble, marble, they no! They basically made it more dramatic where they couldn't in the game at the time. What have you done? Look, look what happened to our village. It's not all our it's fault. It's all your fault. Your guys' fault for having like a treaty with them in the first place and not like you know training some soldiers here or something. You think you can fix this by apologizing? The designs marked you as their enemy as long as you are here. Well, we don't want to stay, stay here anyway. We want to go to Colette. Do you? I gotta follow my woman. But we, Wait we a need a home. You're going to exile him? We're done. Yes. So they're gonna That's vanish. Not fair. That's not fair. didn't do anything wrong. You just saved Marvel. Yeah, seriously, lay off, guys. Any involvement with the wrench has forbidden. There are no uh, exceptions. That's a jerk. So it's okay to let people die at the human ranch as long as the village is yeah, safe. Yeah, you guys are all selfish. The people at the ranch are just going to rot there. Well, anyway. screw you. Yes. Had you not done something so stupid, it'd have been the only ones wow. that died. You guys are just selfish. Shoutouts to the Chaos 0909. No, we're not doing shoutouts. Well, I just Jesus. shouted him out. This... It doesn't really, like, oh, interrupt the game or anything. It's sure just something so small. I just gotta take That's myself from auto signing off. Do you realize how many people died here because of you him? You notice that that guy was voiced by Lord Irving as well. Huh. Kind of sound a little similar, don't you? And Lloyd Irving was voiced by the guy who played Robin. 
from seeing touch. Yes. And besides, Lloyd isn't from this village to begin and, uh, with. And Maximilian from Dark Cloud 2. I'm leaving too. I'm just as guilty as he is. He doesn't want to be part of Jesus. Yeah. By, by the rights vested in me as mayor, I hereby announce the banishment of Lloyd and Genus from the village of Isaiah. Lloyd is going to stop us or something? Get out. Well, we don't want to live in a place where we're hated anyways. So yeah, we'll get I'm out. I'm sorry for causing you trouble. Don't apologize. There's a bunch of dicks. If you feel that way, please catch up to the Chosen and protect her. We definitely will. If in doing so, the world is saved. Surely everyone will change their minds about you. Yeah, I hope so. I'm sure Colette would want that as well. Oh yeah. She enjoys us. I will atone for what I've done. I swear oh, to protect definitely. Colette for the sake of those who have died because of me. I'll follow you, Lord. Thanks, Venus. My fault that you were banished. Yes, it was. So I promise to stick by you. Better all. make me more cookies. Stay genius. At least what you owe. Why don't you use that X sphere? That's Marvel's memento. Yes, it is. Ah, cool. Okay. You should use it. I'll explain to you on how to use the keycrest later. After all, looks like it's going to be a long journey. There's nothing specific you have to know about yeah. the keycrest. It's just a, it allows the character to use it. Yeah, the uh, X spheres have their own levels. One. You won't. Oh, thank you guys. May the goddess mark tell. So I'm not equipping the title Drifting Swordsman. Because you got Expert Swordsman. No, Eternal Swordsman. Oh, Pretty it? much Expert, yeah. Eternal. And I got Genus on Warlock. Oh, by the way, I need to give you your equipment back. Oh, right. <laughs> well, all I had was a cloak. Awesome. I guess I'll give you the boots. You need a little more defense anyways. Because if you look at our stats, um, how'd I do it? There we go. Hit the start button without going to the status. You can see what their stats are. Oh, cool. So my defense is 45, yours is 27. I'm in the front line, so I should have more defense anyways. You should, but will you? Let's go and visit this little cabin first, eh? Wait, Nova's Caravan, already? Yeah, and there's some big questing with Nova's Caravan, but in the meantime, it's just a place to stay. Huh. Uh, yeah, we're on a pilgrimage. Pil pil uh, pilgrimage. You know what I mean. I can't talk today. A pilgrimage. So basically, this is just a free place to rest in case you want to do some level grinding, which we really don't need to do. If you're like level 4, then yeah, I recommend level grinding to at least level 6 or 7. Oh. Especially if it's your first playthrough and you've never played the game before. But we're already level 6 for crying out loud. I'm just more interested in getting the... Well, I I'm more interested in getting new equipment, for the most part. So I'm just gonna avoid all these battles. Yeah, I don't want to battle. I want to proceed. How? Yeah, what is in your mouth? Is it a bone? Oh. Oh, yeah, thanks, Noish. I guess we did drop something, huh? From Dirk. Uh... <laughs> yeah, you could read this... No, uh, I guess we should view it. I mean, I didn't really bother viewing those when I was doing my playthrough real quick. I also skipped a lot of side quests, but we're going to try not to skip any side quests in this Let's Play. Pretty carefully in reference to those X gems! Nah, X we're going to explain that ourselves. We'll explain that ourselves. We'll also explain that ourselves. But you have tutorials as well. Um, oh, now we can actually do the EX skills, so let's go ahead and take a look at that. So, last time I had Lloyd go through the S-type, and depending on what type for the EX skills you have your character go to, they'll be able to learn certain attacks that they weren't able to previously. But you're able to learn all of them if you do more than one consecutive playthrough. Since I had him go S in my playthrough, I'm going to make him go T. So instead of a little bit of a strength boost, I'm going to let his strength drop a little bit and go for something I didn't do on my previous playthrough. Just to learn the moves. Once you learn them all, you can, however, switch it back over. It'll take twice as long to try to learn the next skills and everything. So, I want something T. Nah, I don't care for taunting, so Sharp Bite seems like my best choice. And for Genus, I had him go T last time. 
So this time he's gonna be going S. And you know, he could use defense. Also, uh, once you, uh, I'll let you talk here in a second, sorry. Uh, once you uh, get more than one level one, two, three, or four of the EX skills and the X your levels, you'll be able to get these compound skills that go with it. I'll give them a skill that they previously wouldn't have. Like maybe they'll go faster, or spell castings reduced, something that's more special that I can't just get through the extras on Magma, you have to put them together. And there's some, quite a bit of variables for that. Okay, I'll go on. Cool. It doesn't make any difference to me what Genus is, I'm not using him any longer than I have to. I know, I know, I, I'll just go a brief tutorial. Uh, I hate Genus. I hate this part of the game where it's only Lloyd and Genus. I don't care, because I like Lloyd. Lloyd's my favorite character. Lloyd is fine. I don't mind Lloyd. It's Genus. It's just Genus. Uh... Let's try asking that person here. Excuse me? Yeah, did their group pass by here by any chance? Oh, gee, thanks. Uh, yeah, that's exactly what we're on. You have a silver on the map. So... You'll be able to unlock the long range mode where you pop up Noish and you can see further out. The only thing with the long range mode is that you can't find a treasure chest on the overworld map. Which I never get them anyways, but if you if you want to, it's you, you can. You could go around the overworld and look for it. Eh, no thanks. And the guidepost monuments is how you unlock long range mode. But I've unlocked most of them already. So I really don't have to worry about that. Yeah, so we can just ride the dog everywhere. If we wanted to, yeah. It doesn't make it go any faster, it's almost the same speed. If it goes faster, I'd totally do it all the time. But it's really not, so there's no point. Well, the monsters only move if you move when you're on Noish. True. But they move on their own when you're not on Noish. If there's an area where it's just like a ton... Do we need a rest here? We don't. They exist because they're a pain in our butts. That's why they exist. I like how they added the little box animations. Like, in the GameCube version, the boxes were just stationary and didn't really do anything. Now they like... I, I swore they moved before, though, didn't they? No. Like they bounced up and down. No. They never did that? They never did the little side-to-side -side thing? I swore they did. I... You're probably just old. You're so old you're forgetting stuff already. I am not going senile yet. <laughs> they didn't... I, I they didn't swing the side to side. They didn't do, like, any of that. I remember that. Because I was like, Oh, these skits are boring. Sometimes. They're fun when you... Ooh. Enemies? Oh, we have a counter diesel. Yep. Use me. Eh, they're far enough away. You have to be careful from these enemies though, because both of them will have poison. Which one did you just get? Scorpion. And I'll get a snake. No, they're sidewinders. You know, snakes in video games can't be called snakes. Ow. The scorpion's in here. Yes, he is. Okay, but Let's just beat him up. Thankfully, he hasn't poisoned us yet. I got him! If you have poison, uh, unlike in Pokemon or anything, uh, you're, if you're poisoned, your health drops really quick, really fast. And if you don't cure it quick, you're gonna die. Really quick, really fast. Oh yeah. I don't sleep in class. Well, I do. Why is it so hot? It's up less in college. I sleep if I really can't help it in college. And it's not as often as you might think. Except later in the semester when I'm really tired. <laughs> Could that work? Be? Yeah, it's probably where. Headed for her first seal. We might be able to catch her. I mean, because if I was them, I'd be walking the whole way. No breaks, you know? Whereas there would be taking breaks in between. Shut up, genius. Everything he says just makes me mad. Hey viewers, if you want to play a mini game for this Let's Play, it's probably late now, but if you want to keep a tally of how many times he says shut up, Genus, I'd appreciate it. It'd be kind of fun. 
Yeah, let's keep track of that. Oh, you guys can keep track of it if you want. We're already too late to do it for that. I will probably forget our own number. Okay, I can just go back and watch all of them and be like, hey. I you can do that. I don't want to. I'll let the viewers do it if they want to. Yeah. Uh oh. They got wanted posters now. Man, they're serious. They are seriously serious right now. How's it look? That looks great. That looks just like you. Oh man, I should like go to an arts convention or something. Man, it's amazing. I want that to be framed and put up in the Louvre. That's kind of hilarious. I mean, that doesn't really look like him. It's so badly drawn. Says you. Really? She's asking a fortune teller, huh? Oh, I thank you for welcoming me. You're such a kind lady. Yeah, we do. Oh. You oh. guys don't? How do you live in that, huh? Really? Oh. Yeah, you know, this ain't a place I'd want to live. I mean, just saying. I would love to live there. I'm a desert guy. Those damn designs. Just destroying stuff for fun. Hey, how's it going? Ooh, well, we can buy stuff. You know, I never really use the holy bottles, to be honest. What do they do? They just, like, uh, lower the enemy counter rate. Yeah. Yeah, I've never used that before. Right. I think that's... Oh, actually, no, I don't want to buy that. You don't want orange? That will be good. No, it's just because I'm going to buy weapons here, too. Ah, yeah. Me? Uh, Can sure. I get a minute of your time? Actually, I'll let him do all the explaining for me. Yeah, but lately there are a lot of Basically, people. this guy is, uh... Last he minute. customizes stuff for you. Like, instead of just buying stuff, if you bring him certain materials, he'll put these materials together to make a new set of, like, items. But the only reason why I don't like this is because instead of making like exclusive items that we can't, like even though like yeah here it'll be fine I can customize that. But all these items you see now you can either find or purchase later in the game. Yeah, like the next town over. Yeah, pretty much. Which is why I don't care for the customization. Yeah, you can get some items a little more early, but if you just level grind at appropriate. Oh, appropriate spots, or just don't skip all the battles. You should be more or less fine. So I just don't care for the customization in this game. That's not saying in every game I don't care for it. Well, you can put on your hard leather. Oh, I know who was here. Man, your house must be very weak. For someone to like just fall through here. <laughs> <laughs> the designs did this too. A tourist spot, really? Okay. You guys are weird. It's funny that her hair broke through the wall, too. I know. What's your house made out of? Sand? <laughs> I live in a adobe house that has only Finally, one door. Finally! A real sword! Oh, so happy. I'm not gonna be using Genus in the next area, though. Oh, wait. No, no, I actually am for the next one, and that's it. Hey, I will buy him that. So Don't basically, uh, for Lloyd, Slash and Thrust, I didn't understand it when I was really young, but I get it now, obviously. Slash is like when you swing the sword down, Thrust is when you stab it. Yeah. And the only time I, I care for the stabbing stats is when I'm using Sword Rain or something. Otherwise, Slash is what I look at most of the time. And the 30 increase is really freaking good. And if you never have enough money to buy that next item you want, just sell your old equipment. You don't have to keep them all. And now you'll have enough to buy what you need. Oh yay, I get a fine star. Yeah, you do, because you're just special. Are you going to equip your hard leather? I should. I almost forgot about that. Your hard leather. It only gives you a three defense boost. Yeah, that's basically all the items in this game. It's always going to be something small when it comes to uh, uh, defense equipment. But it's always going to make some kind of difference in this. In the end, yeah. Sometimes I'll skip an equipment upgrade into, like, the next town. When it's like a fat no. upgrade. 
And you can also see the stats before buying it with Triangle to see if you want to make that type of purchase or anything. It's, it's a nice thing to do. It's nice, not gonna lie. Yeah. I, I like it anyways. Genus doesn't need anything. Okay, so next time we'll, uh, oh yeah, these cats. I'll explain the cats. Basically, you send these guys out for a, ex like, they'll go out on an exploration, pretty much, and they'll, sometimes they'll find you items, and they'll be in every city, and they'll get some stuff for you that's just so minuscule. But sometimes you don't get anything at all, which is really funny. And then you can also uh, check your map for you too, but you'll do that on your own anyways. Uh, and th yeah, they can do quite a few things, but you'll be doing all these things throughout the game anyways, so I just find these guys to be so freaking pointless. I mean, you can spend money on them if you really want to like do stuff later. This is the only guy that's, well, useful in any way, because you could purchase like higher level EX gems earlier than when you'd actually find them. But having that amount of grade would be very hard at this point. The only reason why we have 49 is because we used our grade from the last game to give us a grade increase for each and every battle. So you can imagine how long it'd take to get to 200 without our grade increase. Literally our grade would be like 10 or 14 right now if Probably we didn't have less. grade boost. <laughs> or less, yeah. Because you get like 0 0.01 or something, we're getting like 2 to 3 every battle, sometimes 1 if it's low. And mm. grade is pretty much just determined on how well you do the battle. It's like the the best example I can think of is like in Mega Man, the Battle Network series. The faster you complete the battle with your Battle Network skills, well your net battle skills I should say, the higher your, your rank will be for that battle. Like if I finish the battle in 5 seconds or less, Boom, I'll have an S rank. And because of that S rank, I'll get even more money or a better battle chip that'll increase my chances of finding something rare or hard to find and stuff like that. And that's what this game is pretty much similar to when it comes to the grade. But other than that, a grade isn't, to me, isn't very useful until the end game production. And that's about it. Which maybe I should have grinded for more grade, but I got what I wanted. So there's no reason for me to have a 10 times experience boost on a first let's play. That'd be kind of abusive. That is a little abusive. Hey guys, this is nothing exactly, this won't be like your playthrough at all. You know, normally I would buy stuff, but no, I, I, I'm, I'm just not gonna buy stuff. I don't want your meat. Why, yes she is. Let's go check out the fortune teller in the episode. Oh yeah, I'm checking her out all right. <laughs> Not what I meant, but... Well, I don't care what you meant, that's what I'm doing. So... Really? You're gonna charge us? Jerk. Yeah, you have to pay. At least... You know, you can kill enemies and get... Gal. If you really need it, in case you just blown all your money. Which you, you normally shouldn't do. How much magic ones do I have? Okay, I did stock up. Like, you can do it if you really want to. Now, one more thing I should explain since we're still at the beginning of the game. Um, the Cynopus is basically, uh, what you've been through. It's like a recap of the story, kind of like those, uh, text logs in Final Fantasy XIII. It's like, you've been through all of this. The Cynopus. <laughs> Considering in Final Fantasy XIII, you have to read a bunch of stuff in order to understand like, what the hell is going on. The customization is... Like, message speed rank, which I actually... No, no, yeah, keep it on zero. Now here is where you can change the difficulty of the game at any given point. Normal is normal mode. Now, hard mode is hard. You're going to want to level grind a lot for hard mode. And Mania, you have to be crazy to do something like that. That's like the hardest mode on Metal Gear Solid. Have fun. I mean, I want to do Mania mode out of a 10 times experience boost. But, eh, if you want to, go right ahead. It'll, it'll just take a lot to survive. Then you can customize your window options. Maybe we'll do that later off screen or something. And then, yeah, just other little options, just like you would have in a Pokemon game or something. So that's pretty nice. Anyways, that's all the time we have for today's episode, and next time we'll hopefully be able to find the Chosen. On Let's Play, Tales of Symphonia. Have a good day.